He sits on his throne as his people smile in the light, living their idyllic life. It is beautiful, it is golden, it is his dream. His steward offers him a cup as the sun sinks below the horizon. In front of his horrified eyes, flesh melts off the outstretched arm, shriveling to leathery skin on a skeletal frame. He looks up into empty eye sockets, sunken in a decayed face. The laughs of his people are now moans of anguish. Let us go, my lord, the apparition in front of him begs. We died so long ago. No, he hisses, fury rising. They failed him, fell in his war when his plans of conquest turned on his own lands. Now they will serve him forever. There's something she needs to remember. Crouched down in a muddy trench, clutching her gun, what it was eludes her. She can't even recall what it's like not to be fighting. This war seems to have been going on forever. When the order comes, she jumps to obey, to leap into the fray and face death. She does not see the wide open eyes of the shocked tourists as they visit the monument to the sacrifices of the past. She does not hear their startled cries when she passes through them. All she sees is the battlefield. All she hears is gunfire and explosions. There was something she needed to remember. You sit on the beautiful hillside as the summer breeze ruffles your hair and simply listen. As you close your eyes, they come to you. Each has a sad story of life taken too soon, of bravery or cowardice, righteousness or hatred. It makes no difference to you. You listen and you store their tales in your heart, releasing the tortured souls from a long past battle in a forgotten war. They have been heard. Finally, they can rest. They said it was the war to end all wars. Well, they were right about that. A man with his finger on the button, a weapon that was never supposed to exist. There's no time for war, when so much of the planet is a wasteland full of ghosts. Vengeful ghosts. No one really understands what they are, but they come at night out of the dark. They take their revenge in blood when they can, as we huddle in our homes afraid. There can never be another war when the ghosts of the last one refuse to die. They honour us. Generation upon generation, sent out, never to return from battlefields in other lands. What would they say if they could see us, lined up to watch their rituals. Their grief calls us back, thousands in mourning. Our wars are over, theirs continue. We would give them our quiet calm if we could. But while evil men demand evil acts, there will be those who are called to defend the innocent. They honour us. We wish them peace.